Hello students. In this video, we're going to go over the concept of a homogeneous solution and a particular solution for an ODE. Sometimes the homogeneous solution is called the complementary function. So you might see that notation sometimes. Okay, so I have two examples that I'm going to go through. Uh, the first one I will do is the one on the left. So to solve the equation on the left, I'm going to go through this rather quickly. I'm assuming that you already know how to <clears throat> solve uh, differential equations with the uh, integrating factor method, for example. Now, you notice that on the left-hand side, we have a you know, linear equation here. It um, doesn't have to be for what I'm talking about, but in this case it is. And notice that y is the dependent variable, x is the independent variable. Now, on the left-hand side, we put all of the dependent variable information. If everything remaining on the right-hand side were to be zero, okay, all the independent variable information okay, were to be zero, then we'd call the equation homogeneous. But because we have this 2x left over, okay, so all the dependent variable stuff went on the left-hand side, so all the y's went on the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side, all the non-y stuff, in this case, something involving the independent variable x, was non-zero. This is a non-homogeneous equation. So when I solve this by the integrating factor method, here's my integrating factor, right? I pick off the coefficient of y, multiply everything by x squared. I'm going to end up with an integration on the right-hand side. So here I collapse the left-hand side down to the dependent variable times the integrating factor. The right-hand side, I just have that term. Now I integrate both sides. The integral of the derivative on the left-hand side just gives me the interior here. I do a u substitution, and I'm left with this solution here. So here's my left-hand side. I multiply everything by e to the minus x squared. That leaves me with a y e to the minus x squared times e to the x squared, you add the exponents, you get e to the zero, that gives you a one plus c times e to the minus x squared. You could also think, as, think of it as dividing by e to the x squared, but e to the x squared divided by e to the x squared is one, c divided by e to the x squared. When you bring the e to the x squared up to the numerator, you get e to the minus x squared. Now, the vocabulary associated with this is that the one is gonna give us what's called the particular solution. And this term that gets the arbitrary constant, that is called the homogeneous solution. And I'll explain why those terms have these names, particular solution and homogeneous solution. Again, sometimes this term here, the c to the e to the minus x squared, the term with the arbitrary constant is called the complementary function. So let's take a look at the left-hand side. That's the ODE without the right-hand side. Okay, so just this differential operator, it's also known as. Uh, I'm going to substitute for y, and in the first case, I'm going to substitute the homogeneous solution, or the complementary function. In the second case, I'm going to substitute the particular solution. So first, let's consider the homogeneous solution. When I plug that in to the operator here, y prime plus 2xy, and I perform the necessary differentiation. So here I have to impose a chain rule, right? So the derivative of c e to the minus x squared is c e to the minus x squared again, but then I have to take the derivative of the argument, so I get a minus 2x, plus 2x times this term here. Now if you look, what's going to happen to these two terms is they're going to cancel, and we're going to get 0. The fancy term for that is the differential operator here annihilates the complementary function or the homogeneous solution. So in other words, if we had a homogeneous equation to begin with, if there was a zero on the right-hand side, then we know that it has the solution c e to the minus x squared. This solution satisfies the homogeneous equation. That's why it's called the homogeneous solution. Likewise, if I plug 1 into the left-hand side, the differential operator. Then the derivative of 1, of course, that's the derivative of a constant. We get 0. 
2x times 1 is 2x. 0 plus 2x leaves us with 2x. And that yielded the right-hand side. So plugging in the particular solution gave us the right-hand side. So if we went to check our answer, notice that if we plug this entire solution into the ODE, this term would get annihilated. It would go to 0. So the only thing left to give us the right-hand side so that this ODE is satisfied by the solution is the particular solution. Okay. Let me phrase this another way. Let's, let's take a look at the example um, on the right. I have a particular solution here of natural log of x plus 2. You're going to plug it in. You don't know what the right-hand side is. You're just told it's some function g of x. We're going to plug it in. To, we're going to plug this particular solution into the left-hand side to get us this g of x, because that's what we're asked to find. And that's how we go about finding the right-hand side, is by plugging in the particular solution. When I plug the natural log in to the differential operator here on the left, I take the derivative of natural log, I get 1 over x plus 2. I plug in the natural log of x plus 2 into this term here. I ended up just multiplying that by 3. That gave us the right-hand side. So the particular solution yields the right-hand side because the solution to the left-hand side, where you have a zero, with the arbitrary, you know, where you'd have the arbitrary constant, that is going to get annihilated. So you might be asking, well, I know that the solution this shouldn't just have a um, c e to the three x because isn't um, that the solution to this left-hand side? Um, yeah, that is true. But if you plug that solution in to the left-hand side, you're going to get 0. OK, so let me summarize these concepts. Maybe your head is kind of swimming right now with all these terms, homogeneous solution, particular solution. So let me give you the main bullet points. An ODE, it annihilates the homogeneous solution, or the complementary function. If you plug in the solution that has the arbitrary constant, you're going to end up with a 0. So how? Is that going to satisfy the ODE? How are we going to get something like this right-hand side or this right-hand side? The particular solution yields the right-hand side. So that means that all ODE solutions have the form y equals the complementary function plus the particular solution. Or if you like to think of it as all ODE solutions have the form homogeneous solution plus particular solution. All right. Those are the concepts associated with homogeneous solutions and particular solutions. This is a very important topic. Uh, comes up again when we solve um, second order ODEs with um, non-zero right-hand side. So non-homogeneous second order ODEs and third order equations and fourth order equations and so on. It also shows up in linear algebra too um, without differential equations. So you'll see that all your linear algebra solutions will have the form a homogeneous solution plus a particular solution as well. So this comes up quite a bit in a lot of areas of mathematics. Okay, good luck.